Hey everybody, this is Becky Lajiro for CoinGeek.com, here with Neil, the CEO of Mint Blue. We are at the London Blockchain Conference, and Neil dropped a bomb on us during the presentation today with Smart Wearable. So, Niels, I wanted you to repeat to our audience here what you revealed on stage about the Smart Wearable technology. Well, yeah, we have a new partnership with uh, NowWatch, and it's, in a, it's a really cool Smart Wearable brand. I'm actually wearing one right now. It doesn't have the time. It's uh, supposed to give you time because it tracks all your vitals, your breathing, your steps, your heartbeats, your cortisol levels. They really want to give their users absolute data control. Yeah. So they're one of the first smart wearable brands that are embracing data ownership and are looking for a solution. And yeah, we're happily stumbled upon them. We met them, we uh, explained what we did and what the blockchain could do. And now we're indeed integrating the blockchain into their system. So this could really be the start of a peer-to-peer -peer biometric data marketplace where the users who own the smart device have all their data, bio, their biometric data encrypted in an on-chain wallet and then they can grant access to third-party providers. So for instance, imagine you go to the doctor and the doctor prescribes you a new sleeping drug. Uh, it can request, the doctor can request access to see how your sleep cycle is being affected by the new drug. Those kind of opportunities are then possible. And before, you just, yeah, it was really hard to do that in a compliant and private way. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about the, the whole data economy that surrounds the smart wearables and how we can even use micropayments to be rewarding the users for the uh, sharing of their data. The big change here is that it is all fully transparent and the user is completely in control. So the device and your uh, application on your smartphone is a non-custodial wallet where all your biometric data is locally stored in the client side and you use multi-encryption uh, techniques to like decrypt only your breaths or only your heartbeats to a certain third party and indeed there's also an opportunity for direct compensation where you get micropayments paid per byte that you share for instance this is all not yet set in stone i think uh, at the start, we will see more like benefits-based uh, advantages that you get an extra uh, better service if you share your information. But I can imagine a world where uh, large uh, research labs can do like hundreds of thousands of people at one point in time to see how an election is uh, affecting your heartbeat or a football match or there's a King's Day in the Netherlands and everybody is having a party and you can see how the heartbeat and the cortisol levels change. I think that's a beautiful, very cool case. And private, that's that's the thing. Yeah. That the user can also revoke the access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The user is in full control. I think this this whole concept, like I said, is that everybody's so excited also because it's going to generate so many transactions, right? Indeed. When we in integrated the first uh, like demo in the beta, we were uh, pushing every heartbeat of every user yeah. separately. <laughs> so it was like, ring through the roof. <laughs> So you can imagine the volume if every heartbeat is a separate transaction. I mean, it is possible, but we will probably add a little interval in it so you have like package data, like every minute you put a package of your biometric data on chain. But yeah. But also, Niels, I know in your presentation you were talking about securing data and you have a vault, I guess is the word that yeah. you use to make it more accessible for the audience to understand. Tell me about how you make sure everything is secure yeah. and you can share what you want to share and how it works in the back end. Yeah, so traditionally when you create an account with a third-party application or with a smart device, uh, you basically create an account in a cloud provider of the company offering you that service. So basically they are the data owner. And what we have proposed with NowWatch is that you create a non-custodial wallet in your registration flow onto the blockchain. So you create uh, private keys that decrypt your on-chain information where all your biometric data is stored and you can split that private key into multiple recovery methods. So one recovery method is the watch itself, because your biometrics are a fingerprint. Another method is your phone number, your email, a KYC provider, or maybe even your Google account. And together these slices of keys unite into one single key that decrypts your most valuable information, your biometric data on chain. Um, and we do this so not a single company ever has access to your data. You are the only one that can recover from multiple uh, recovery methods because you own them all. And that's really how we ensure that it is fully secure. Amazing. And now for my most important question of all, oh. how do I get one of these bad boys? You can uh, just head over to nowwatch.com, you can create one yourself, you can create the straps, the, the colors, uh, the stainless steel or the silver or gold. There are multiple stones to put in. I have the parabola. You can order it when you get it shipped to your home, you can download the app and then you can set up your blockchain vault and off you go. 
I love this so much. You're always full of surprises. Love having you at these events. Love seeing you here, Niels. Thank you. Thank you so much and keep up the great work. Awesome. Thank you for having me. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's Becky Legiro for CoinGeek.com. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.